Welcome to the Forbo Marmoleum Sheet Installations video. When installing Marmoleum Sheets, be sure to install cuts and rolls in consecutive order. Do not reverse sheets for seaming. Use the proper Forbo adhesive with a 16th inch square notch trowel. Install one sheet at a time, making sure to always place the flooring into wet adhesive. Spread the adhesive everywhere, including up to all edges and walls. Do not allow the adhesive to flash off or dry. A key characteristic of marmoleum to keep in mind during installation is that the material will expand slightly in the width and shrink slightly in the length when placed into the adhesive. It's important to allow for shrinkage before making the final cuts on the material. Once the sheets are placed in the adhesive, roll immediately with a 100 pound roller rolling first across the width of the material and then rolling down the length. Always check for proper adhesive transfer. You must have complete wet transfer from the back of the sheet to the subfloor. The bond will fail if you do not get the material into wet adhesive and rolled immediately. Marmoleum sheet flooring comes on a roll and retains a memory that needs to be relaxed or removed from the material as it's being installed. We call it end curl. End curl can be easily removed by a process called massaging the material. To do this, fold the material back on a 45 degree angle and massage it to relieve or relax the material. After removing the end curl, place the material into the wet adhesive and roll it immediately. If you don't relax or massage out the end curl, you may experience perimeter failure or bubbles around the perimeter of the room. Every full roll of marmoleum will have what is called a stove bar. A stove bar is a hump in the middle of the roll. This is a result of the drying process and is not a manufacturing defect in the material. Similar to end curl, the stove bar can be removed by massaging the material. During installation, apply adhesive with a flat side of a trowel to the back of the material under the stove bar. Then massage this section of the material into the adhesive on the floor. If you don't, the result will be a speed bump type of bubble or irregularity showing across the full width of the sheet. If you ignore these guidelines, your floor could come up in a day. Follow them and it can last for decades. Thanks for watching this Forbo video. For other videos, see us at youtube.com slash ForboFlooringNA. And for additional technical and training school information, visit us at ForboFlooringNA.com.